Hello, this is Carrie Black from the Space Weather Center located at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. This is the weekly space weather report for March 21st through March 27th, 2012. Earth-directed solar activity was low this week. There were no Earth-directed coronal mass ejections and no strong flares. There was one moderate flare on the left side of the sun, also called the east limb. It was not magnetically connected to Earth and therefore no energetic particle events were detected at Earth. As a result of the low Earth-directed solar activity, geomagnetic activity was low as well. Geomagnetic activity is measured by the KP index, which gets its name from the German for planetary index. The KP is a scale from 0 to 9. It was at or less than 4 all week. There was some activity at Earth early in the week. March 21st and 22nd saw elevated electron levels at geosynchronous orbit. This was due to a coronal mass ejection that occurred last week. As it died out, electron levels returned to normal. Things were active on the far side of the sun. There were a total of six significant coronal mass ejections as seen in this movie. The old active region 1429 gave off three fast coronal mass ejections that each generated energetic particle events at stereo A and B. The other three coronal mass ejections did not have any associated particle events as they traveled at moderate speeds or were ejected at high latitudes as seen here. At the NASA Space Weather Center, we use a model, NLIL, to predict the impact of coronal mass ejections in the solar system. This movie shows a modeled coronal mass ejection that occurred at the end of this reporting week. The sun is here, and the Earth is here. The coronal mass ejection is predicted to have little to no impact at Earth. The dashed lines are the magnetic field lines. They show that the Earth is magnetically connected to the Sun at this location. Active region 1429, which has been responsible for some incredible events in the last month, is currently behind the Earth-facing disk on the east limb. In the next week, it will make its way onto the Earth-facing side. But the Earth is not magnetically connected to that region. It is magnetically connected to this region. Any events that are generated by old active region 1429 are not likely to impact Earth. Otherwise, the solar and geomagnetic activity is expected to be at low to unsettled levels for the upcoming week. All of the data in this video is accessible from our Integrated Space Weather Analysis System, located at iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov. Thank you for watching.